Ever since their introduction to Europe in 1998, DVDs have taken the home movie world by storm. They replaced old spools of a VHS tape with glittering laser beams of light chock full of information. Production begins in an edit suite. This is where the director will cut the show or the movie that we all want to watch. The final program can then be stored either onto a tape or a computer hard drive which can then be taken on to the DVD factory. Now, although they're usually shiny, metallic and reflective, a DVD actually starts life as a disc of clear glass. This is coated with a very thin layer of photosensitive material so that information can be stored onto it. The freshly painted disc is then put into the laser machine. This is where the blockbuster movie can be written or etched onto the surface of the glass. The laser cuts billions of tiny notches into the light-sensitive layer that's been painted on. With the information in place, the glass disc now needs to be turned into a DVD template. The glass master is washed in a nickel bath for an hour and the nickel collects in the notches. These notches carry all of the information, in this case our movie, to form the glass master. This is a DVD template and thousands of copies of the film or music video can be printed from it. Before printing, the template now needs to be cut down to size, otherwise it won't fit into the printing press. When it's ready, it's fitted into the machine and brand new DVDs can be produced. It has to be done carefully though, as this is the only copy that exists. The printing press is filled with the raw material which is a form of plastic called polycarbonate. This is melted and forced against the surface of the negative. A new DVD is pressed like this every three seconds. Now, you may have spotted that these new discs are completely clear, which is a problem. A DVD player can't read them like this, so now they receive a coat of aluminium. This is then followed by another clear plastic disc. This will protect the aluminium layer and the all-important information in case you ever drop the disc. The next machine sprays a fine layer of clear glue between the two to bond them together. This is then followed up by a trip under the UV light. This hardens the glue permanently and stops them coming apart. To get a picture of this shiny disc, your DVD player shoots a laser beam at it. This beam would pass through a clear disc, but now it's reflected back off the aluminium layer. The laser beam bounces back onto a receiver and is translated into pictures and sound on your TV. Now you have to identify the disc, so first the machine checks which discs it's working on using an infrared device. they're sent to receive a layer of white paint. Next, the colours are applied to the rollers, which spread it evenly and transfer it to each disc as it passes underneath. Quality control inspector keeps a close eye on the final discs that emerge. If you were looking forward to an action adventure and happened to find a romantic comedy, you'd probably be disappointed, so it's important to make sure the right discs get into the right box. So what started out as an ordinary glass disc has been turned into an ingenious, wafer-thin copy of the latest Hollywood blockbuster on DVD.